Dark Forces 2, Mysteries of the Sith, Expansion Pack, Short Game Review. You play as Mara Jade for, if that's how you pronounce it, for most of that this game, instead of Kyle Katarn, who goes missing pretty early on. You do sort of investigate his disappearance, but also you're just going on a lot of missions for the Rebels. You again have a lightsaber and force powers. You have new force powers this time, and it's completely neutral with no dark side or light side. You can choose whatever powers you want, and there is no choice. There is no you know, going to one side or the other. Many of the new force powers, or several of them, are not that useful and just kind of, you know, they didn't have the technology to make them really work in this one, so, yeah. And you're pretty much allowed to just choose whatever abilities you want, so, you know, there isn't... It can be difficult to choose the right ones. The level design varies. We still have massive levels, massive areas, but it just feels too linear. It's too obviously linear. The very finale, the climax, or the conclusion to the story, is pretty good and does fit with the overall Star Wars universe.